our first guest is an actor and a best-selling author. His new book is called Recovery, Freedom from Our Addiction. It's available now. Please welcome back to our show, Russell Brand. <laughs> And away we go. Congratulations on your marriage. Thank you, thank you. Before we talk about that, I just wanna give Russell Brand shoe cam. Did you just take these out of the box? No, down here, Russell. And then, yeah. <laughs> Silly. Russell? Milk it, milk it, make love to the shoe cam. <laughs> So who's the lucky girl? Ah, the woman I married is called Laura. We've known each other for a very long while. We know what we've got now, a human baby. It's right! Came out of her. It's been nothing but demanding from the moment it emerged. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know that it, um, well, wait, the baby's 18 months now? 11 months, 11 and it months. may well have conquered new territories in my heart and shown me love that I never thought possible, but it's a vicious little thing. Okay. Vindictive creature. Okay, but before we talk about her and, and how- And you can't drug them, it's a rule. <laughs> There's some sort of allergy medicine you're supposed to be able to use, but apparently it's wrong, isn't it? You've just <laughs> got to put up with it. Well, before we talk about um, how fatherhood has changed you- Oh, yes. I want to go, go back to Laura. What does she do for a living? And, and how did you know her for so long but you never fell into one another's arms? Well, I think like a lot of people, I looked at love as something that must be some undulating space of peaks and troughs and terrible glamour. Many people, I think, are attracted to people that possibly are destructive. Me, though, my particular tastes were a buffet of endless flesh, a carousel of limitless love. Well... Some people are cheering at that, Wendy. Well... But you know what it's like to be hurt, do you? Yes, I do. But I don't, know what it's, I don't know what it's like to sleep with a thousand people. Oh, it's exhausting. <laughs> so... <laughs> Russell. You're asking me about my bad back on the way in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my um, poor spine, it's been through hell. <laughs> so, the young lady, um, she's not an actress. This is oh, a no. very low-key relationship, Russell. I mean, you were with the biggest pop star in the world. Oh, she you, was lovely. Katy Perry. That's right. You guys oh, we were, were married. married. Yeah, we got married. And it, uh, she's such a lovely person. I've got nothing but love for her. Was that a roller coaster, though? Two famous people oh, together? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, it's a, a bit difficult to tell what's going on in such a situation, but it was a, a very, very wonderful time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What are you doing that with your tongue for? What do you mean, uh -huh, uh -huh, corner of the mouth? <laughs> is that a sign? If we were playing poker right now, that is a tell. That is a tell. You need to work on your poker face, love. Is it true that you had to really win over Laura's parents? Oh, actually, I mean, Laura's parents, they obviously have to have the patience of saints and very broad minds. Because I'd gone out of their daughter some years before, and when I got, Laura and I got back together, I did have to go back and say... Uh, oh, I didn't know that. What do you mean? No, I, I thought you were friends with her. I didn't know that you went, you dated her several years ago. We went out with each other. We loved each other very much. But oh. I, I was in, like, I thought the world was like sort of an amusement park made out of orgasms. So I didn't... <laughs> know how to sort of sit still. I was too excited. If <laughs> you seen Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, you know Augustus Gloop. Imagine him with his trousers down. <laughs> the greedy one. Does, does, do <laughs> Jumping I... into that chocolate lake with his mouth Russell, open. Russell, <laughs> focus. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't even mean that. Do her mom and dad know that you are an admitted sex addict? Hey! <laughs> just, just, just say you've been. How am I going to bring that up in a family conversation? Well, to Bernard, he's a professional golfer. Yeah. Is it hard to be, be faithful? Not really. Not at my time of life. You know, those days I still have like uh, the power, the urges, but I try and put those powers and urges towards good causes. Now, I spend a lot of time in soup kitchens, and I keep washing my hands. You know, you <laughs> try and use the energy for good. Try and serve people. Well, you it's not you, easy. You live on a farm, I heard. You raise chickens. You have. I mean, it's not a farm, Wendy. There are some chickens, but they're not really cooperating. Well, where do they live in the basement? I don't understand. <laughs> where, where are they living? 
They're in the garden. They're, and I've got bees, thousands and thousands really? of bees. I've not taken their honey. I've not taken the chickens' eggs. I'm like a farmer, but I won't interact with them because I worry about it. I'm sort of vegan curious, you know. So, like, with it, the eggs get laid, but I've not taken them. The honey is there in great wads, but I've not taken it from the bees right. yet. So I have the animals, but I've not yet got round to exploiting them. How has fatherhood changed you? <laughs> Uh, fatherhood has changed me in that it empirically proves that I'm not the most important person in the world. Like, I always knew it before in my mind, but when that little screaming, punching, violent lunatic... Were you in the room? <laughs> yeah! I was there for Did the Did you birth. look? Oh, my God. I was front line and centre. I was ringside, and I use that word deliberately. And, like, and there's a lot of things people didn't tell me. I didn't know that the whole area comes forward on a mound before anything opens, <laughs> like a souffle, like a cake rising. <laughs> Men need to know. <laughs> or same-sex partners also. So then, like, then, then it opened up and you see a sort of a coin-faced bit and then the head comes out on its own and the baby wears its mum like a sleeping bag. There's <laughs> not enough information available. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Russell? Um, Wendy? <laughs> what do you think of that Katie on American Idol? Is she that $25 million... Uh, woman, I don't know much about American Idol and things like that, and I, but I certainly think that she's probably a, a very good judge, so I certainly wouldn't comment on how much she's earning in the negative. I wish her all the best in all of do her endeavours. Do you watch TV? Not very much. Yeah. Not in this day and age. Who does? Hi, viewers. <laughs> 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 no, 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 I watch it from time to time, but, like, I'm not really what sort do of you watch? into it. Like, well, mm, like, like, see, like, see me, look, check it out, Wendy, you want to know, like, I mean, I know it's a chat show, I know we're being daft, but listen, I'm doing a degree in religion and global politics, I'm trying to improve myself, we're living in this crazy time. <laughs> You're a reader, you're not a TV watcher. This is the... where I want to talk about your book and, and the meaningful... Do you, yeah, Wendy? Yes, I do. All right, then, go on. Let me plump myself up on a cushion <laughs> and relax. All right. Tell us all your views. You are... No, well, no, I want you to tell me what's inside the book. You are an admitted. Right. Um, you've been sober for over a decade now. Fourteen and a half years. <laughs> One back time. What's in this book that's going to help others? Well, I'll tell you what's in there is... <clears throat> Most of us are unaware that we're living hypnotised by our culture. We're already living by a programme, a programme that tells us that we're not good enough, that we have to consume, that we have to wear makeup, that we have to better ourselves by the clothes we wear and what we purchase, constantly bombarded with consumer messages. I think certain people can't live like that, the addict population, those of us that are crackheads, smackheads, wanderers and losers alone in this world. This book is a code to unite us with our true self and to unite us with one another so we can imagine new worlds together. This book and this principle within it took me from a street smackhead to a person that can turn up on a velvet sofa with a damn fine-looking woman. <laughs> It'll work for anybody. Russell. What I love about Russell is that he's very batty, but he's very smart. Um, so you were really good friends with Amy Winehouse, I heard. Do, but you were... Um, I loved Amy very much. She was you one of the great you talents were of our time. You were recovered at the time that she, um, you know, met her untimely demise. Mm. Do you... Do you think that there's something that you might have been able to do to help her? I tried my best and I blamed myself when Amy Winehouse died, as anyone who loves a uh, drug addict always will. But I bet everyone in this room and people watching this know what it's like to love a drug addict and it's very hard to reach them unless they are ready. I felt very broken when she died and I, I wrote about it. And It was one of the things that helped me to recommit to my programme of recovery was seeing such a great woman prematurely lost. So, yeah. it, of course, I blame myself, but I know that my power to help others is only limited and all I can do is try and be an example. If someone as broken as me can succeed in this crazy world, then there is hope for everybody. Don't go anywhere, everybody, because we're going to put Russell in the hot seat next. Yes. Put me in it. Russell Brand is in our hot seat. Russell, you ready? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is very, very easy. All right. We're going to start with a 40-degree question. We're going to work our way up to 100 degrees. This is okay? a mere 40 degrees. Anybody's rump can withstand that. <laughs> OK. You did a movie called Get Him to the Greek with Puffy. I was Puffy. in that. With yes. Puffy, yeah. Uh -huh. Sean Puff, Daddy Coons. <laughs> what is... If you can recall, what is the craziest thing that perhaps the two of you did during filming? Batman dragged me to Vegas on a private jet 
and he insisted that I wear a very, very long scarf for reasons I don't understand yet, and he wanted it to be lilac. So I sourced a lilac scarf. He took me to Vegas on a private jet to watch Manny Pacquiao do a boxing match in Vegas. Once we were there, him and I believe Jay-Z leapt up on seats when Ricky Hatton, an Englishman, was very badly beaten up. I myself was embarrassed. But it was a lovely evening in Vegas with Sean Puff Daddy Coombs. <laughs> OK. He took me to a pugilism contest. OK. Pugilism. Isn't Russell attractive? Do you think? Suzanne and I were talking about that during commercials. Yeah. Me and Sexually. Suzanne were saying, you, you've Sexually. got that certain thing. The vibe. Yes. Mm. OK. Vibes. Who was the most famous person you ever sent a nude photo to? That would have to be uh, Jason Siegel from <laughs> Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I like to send him regular daily updates <laughs> just so he can check on developments. Perfect. <laughs> Where's the strangest place that you've ever woken up after a night of partying? Oh, God, I accidentally woke up in a room full of refugees. I mean, I don't know how I ended up in there. <laughs> It was what? very difficult because I'd, I'd taken a lot of drugs the previous day. I woke up and everyone else in the room was a refugee. So not only did I have a terrible headache, I was confronted with the economic realities of a corrupt capitalist system. <laughs> very tricky. <laughs> OK. Wendy Williams. And alas, here's your 100 to three question. This is your last one. Four, aren't you lovely? Before getting married, <laughs> there's a rumor well, we talked about you sleeping with over a thousand women. That's what you keep saying. I didn't keep track. I'm a polite gentleman. I was in the moment. It's <laughs> enjoying myself at the service of the goddess energy of the woman. Well, can you name three celebrities on the list? And they can't be English celebrities that perhaps we don't know. How dare you insult our culture? <laughs> Ivanka Trump. <Whoa>. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> And Milana Trump, the Trumps. It Perfect. was a terrific evening. There you go. Thank you, Russell Brand, for being here. Russell's new book is called Recovery, Freedom from Our Addictions. It's in stores right now.